Anyone who wants to emphasize their shoulders or bring more balance, more volume to their top half, the form of it matches the skirt form very well. So I'm kind of working with different blocks of shapes. This whole outfit feels very 70s to me, especially with having a more close fitting ribbed tee like I'm wearing today. Remember that it will help to elongate your look if you're choosing a blazer that lands below the hip line. All of these little tricks where I'm exposing more skin is going to make the outfit feel like it fits me even more properly. Today, I have six comfortable outfits I think you will live in this summer. I actually have broken them down into formulas that you can use all summer long. They're basically just gonna take a few different pieces that you can reference time and time again. If you do see something that you love in this video, I will have everything linked down in the description box. But the goal, again, is just to give you some basic formulas or combinations that you can use with different items that you already have or ones that you want to try to purchase, maybe even experiment with different color combinations. Nisolo is the sponsor of today's video, so I will be using their shoes throughout this video to build these outfits. But the cool thing is that these are shoes that I already own. They did give us 20% off site-wide, so that's so cool, and I will leave you guys with the code in the description box. There's really not a video that I have made in quite some time where I haven't worn their shoes. So I'm just very thankful today to be working with them officially. Way back in 2015 was the first time I was drawn to their brand because I fell in love with how they showed the process of how their shoes are handmade, which was because they support the craft of the shoemakers that have been handing down their skills for generations in Peru. And now, all these years later, I know them personally. I've met their CEO and his family and several members of their marketing team here in Nashville. And heck, one of you guys actually went and started to work there. <laughs> so that's just so cool. And I also love that they provide 100% uh, living wages, which is unheard of, frankly, in the fashion industry. And it's just a fundamental change in the whole fashion world. So let's get started with the outfit formulas for summer. The first formula is an off the shoulder top. I'm wearing it today. A wide leg jean and a mule. The mules that I'm wearing are the Ama mules. They are in bone and I love them because they're this woven leather that has a beautiful sort of basket texture that I love for spring and summer. It feels like something that I would wear to the beach or by the pool. Having this with an off the shoulder top is a win for me because anyone who wants to emphasize their shoulders or bring more balance, more volume to their top half should be getting an off the shoulder top. It also brings balance to your hips, which I love to do personally because I'm pear shaped. And really, I just love them because they feel so romantic. This top is new in from Cezanne, which some of you should still be able to find it available if you're looking for it. And then for the denim, I've actually had these for four years. They're from Jessie Cam. They're just rough and tumble. They've got a little bit of a stretch to them. And she should also have some in stock if you're looking for a pair just like these. The second outfit formula is a tank, a wrap skirt, a platform sandal, and a bucket hat. So the sandal that I recommend is the platform sandal. I have it in bone. It's really practical and comfortable and still timeless, but it does happen to be on trend right now. They're also really easy to walk in. One of you guys actually asked me for a shoe that you could walk for miles and miles each day in, and this would be a great place to start to build something outside of just a sneaker. Then for my skirt recommendation, I cannot recommend a wrap skirt enough because they work for nearly every body shape. They bring a great silhouette, they bring structure. You can't really see any curves, but it does billow out and it's just so elegant. And having something that confuses the eye with a diagonal cut is going to be more flattering 
and that's what makes it so wonderful. It's also more elegant and more structured, so that could be dressed up or dressed down with more casual wear like I'm wearing today, and this one happens to be linen. So that makes it more for summer, more summer appropriate. Also, it just has this breezy feel for outfits that you're going to spend time outside with. Then to top it off, I'm wearing this bucket hat. I feel like the form of it matches the skirt form very well, so I'm kind of working with different blocks of shapes with this outfit. So as you can see, with this outfit, I'm wearing it much more in a summery way. I'm wearing it in a very casual way. So head to toe, I'm wearing things that are elegant and yet casual at the same time. Outfit formula three is a basic tee, some wide leg pants, a heeled mule, and a bandana. I just pulled these Paloma mules from my summer storage today, and this is the third summer that I've had them. This whole outfit feels very 70s to me, especially with having a more close fitting ribbed tee like I'm wearing today. And then also I generally do not like to wear things like sunglasses. Possibly this is another reason why I love having hats so much to keep the sun out of my face. But generally speaking, having the combination of a bandana with some sunglasses is probably the only way that I will wear sunglasses this summer. This ups the retro feel of this whole outfit even more to me. Speaking of the bandana, I wore this style with an outfit a few videos back. I really come to love the bohemian vibe that it can give to an outfit. And this comes through even more because the bag style that I've chosen with this is a half moon shape. And the wide leg pants also bring it into that direction. So all together, this outfit formula is something that can be perfectly retro if you want it to be. Or if you just love the bohemian style, then this outfit combination will be perfect for you. Formula four is a dress a platform sandal and a structured bag. So the platform sandal that I'm choosing today is in black. Also because it's got another inch of height, it's wonderful for anybody who wants to lengthen their look. I chose the black version for this outfit because it keeps that outfit casual and walkable, but there's a high contrast with a minimal color combination. So it's adding sophistication back into this look. So this dress, is a tiered cotton dress and this type of dress is so popular it has been for a few years now i think they're amazing for having pockets uh, and also just having a warm weather essential that you can wear not only in summer but also just spring through fall there's different ways that you could style this one of my favorite styles for dresses is to have something billowing like this it's a wonderful look. It can work for any body shape, including mine, which is a pear shape. It could work for if you are pregnant. I've seen some beautiful uh, outfits with my friends that are in maternity clothes right now. It could just work well for anybody. So for this outfit, I'm working with something that's kind of sweet, but then I'm using pieces that are sophisticated and structured and you can work with any outfit color combination, but having this black and white is very striking to me. The fifth outfit combination is a blazer, a relaxed jean, and a heeled mule. So I'm wearing the Paloma mules again. They are a wonderful option because they have that thick heel and it gives you a couple of inches of height. They also are more breathable because of the peep toe. It's got the toes exposed and that's wonderful for like leather shoes in general. Also, the jeans that I'm wearing are really comfortable because they're a relaxed fit and they're breathable because of the distressing. It's got holes on the knees, so it literally has, you know, oxygen reaching my knees. <laughs> then for the tank top, I'm wearing something that's cropped up and I'm layering with a tank because it's just that much less fabric to deal with than something that would have sleeves on it whether that's short sleeves or long sleeves. And then if you want to, you can wear something that's full length. You don't have to have it cropped up like this. Also, if your hips are the widest point, remember that it will help to elongate your look if you're choosing a blazer 
that lands below the hip line. This is especially elongating for relaxed jeans, which can create a wider appearance because it's literally looser. It's going to be wider in the inches on the hips. Relaxed jeans are my preference for hot summer days because they don't really feel constricting. They cool off really quickly. And the same could be said for those wide leg pants that I've been wearing in the earlier outfits. So altogether, this outfit is almost business casual if you work in a more casual environment. Um, you can tailor this outfit formula to meet your needs, whether that's work or something else. Whenever you're going to wear a blazer, it already psychologically transforms your mind to be ready for that moment, whether you're buying or selling a car, buying or selling a house, um, renting a place. This just puts you in that mode, even though I'm wearing some pants that really aren't that way. I feel just this um, presence with my mind to be able to communicate things on a more business level. This final outfit formula is for you guys that love jumpsuits. This is a jumpsuit, a slip-on mule, and a hat. So the slip-ons are the Lima slip-on in brown. They're a mule, but it's more of a slipper because there's absolutely no heel. This makes for a wonderful house shoe if you want to just have something that's more work from home appropriate. You can watch one of my latest videos about more about how to wear comfort chic for work from home people. Also, the jumpsuit look is more lived in because I'm wearing this more casual shoe. In the past, I've worn jumpsuits that have a boot with it. Uh, you sometimes wear sneakers with jumpsuits and instead this look just feels monochromatically beautiful. Uh, obviously from head to toe, I'm wearing different tones of brown, which again is a lengthening look. It also can be slimming and that works well for having flat shoes. So I suggest when you're looking for a jumpsuit to find an oversized fit. This is wonderful just for like moving around a little bit better, but you also can work with it to make it feel like it fits you properly. This is a really good example because it cinches at the waist inside the jumpsuit. It almost makes it look like it's high-waisted, which then elongates the leg. I also can do things like roll up the sleeves, open up the neckline, and then roll the pant legs as well. So all of these little tricks where I'm exposing more skin is going to make the outfit feel like it fits me even more properly while still having the comfort level of wearing something that's one piece. You know, if you need to reach up high or bend down and get something, you want full ranges of motion with something like this. What's great about this jumpsuit in particular is that you can not have it cinch at the waist if you feel just more comfortable not having that. Um, if your body's shape is different than mine and you want to wear a different way, there's so many ways where you can wear this look. Also, there are some jumpsuits that have um, belts that are attached it's better to find jumpsuits with belts that at least can be removed and then replaced if it comes with these belt loops around it. This one doesn't even have that. I could add a belt if I wanted to, but I really don't need to. It would break up the top and bottom look that I have going right now. So those were my six outfit formulas. Hopefully you can return again and again to this video so that you're never at a loss as to what to wear this summer. And thank you to Nisolo for sponsoring this video, and I will see you guys next time.